Like most architects, Blister, Bear Claw, Hackensack, and Jones, welcome the opportunity to become better acquainted with revolutionary new building materials. how justifiable the salesman's faith in his product may be, the most promising innovation has little chance of finding practical application unless its possibilities can be thoroughly evaluated by the architect. Congratulations, Mr. Jones. Your firm has just been selected to introduce Miracle Brick, the completely new revolutionary building material. Now, because they're made entirely of homogenized feathers activated with helium, no foundation or mortar is required. The roof holds them gently but firmly in position. Soft and cuddly, the down construction is also non-toxic, guaranteed safe for children and pets. Miracle Brick is guaranteed non-combustible, impervious to water, easily wrung out, yet capable of holding moisture. Now, as you can see, when I place it on the floor and jump, jump, jump up and down on it, you can see the terrific strength Excuse it can withstand. Excuse me, uh, I have an appointment. When Cheese Incorporated called on Wilbur's firm to design a new structure for their home offices, it wasn't that they considered their building old-fashioned. They were just a little crowded for space. When my wife and I were in Egypt last year, it occurred to her, <coughs> that is us, a pyramid-shaped structure would symbolize the stability of the firm. And the strength and integrity of its founder. Why, thank you, Henry. <laughs> Tis a bonny thought, man. The very idea I had myself, inspired by the outrageous prices they're charging for real estate. Of course, I'm new an engineer, but I'm sure Wilbur is a canny lad who knows how to build a pyramid to take advantage of all the free space so thoughtfully provided by our neighbors. Right. Economics has the rank, so let's make sure everyone salutes. Uh, I don't pretend to be a draftsman, uh, but you can appreciate the advantage of identifying the building with our product. Uh, naturally, we use an irregular window pattern to simulate the holes in our tasty Swiss Miss brand. Absolutely. Identifying ourselves with our customers overseas will plug foreign sales while enhancing international goodwill. Luckily, the amount of time and effort clients' artistic contributions save architects is a closely guarded secret. So help me, a pyramid that would symbolize, symbolize the stability of the firm and take advantage of all the free space while enhancing international goodwill. Naturally, we'd use an irregular window pattern. Of course it's possible. So what if it does have my name on it? My lords, I have here Exhibit A, the culprit's own rendering of the monstrosity he willfully inflicted upon the city that gave him birth. Vile. Unspeakable. <laughs> he has betrayed his clients, disgraced an honorable profession. But need I go on? Guilty! <laughs> Wilbur knows that to maintain his reputation as a competent architect, he must seek aesthetic expression in functional terms within the client's practical requirements. He must depend upon the versatility of his materials to maintain freedom of design. The comparative cost, durability, and appearance of steel curtain wall construction is of great interest to Wilbur. Steel curtain wall construction is used extensively in schools, banks, shopping centers, research centers, industrial plants, and buildings of many kinds and sizes. Many unique properties give stainless steel a distinct advantage over any other structural material. Its appearance is both pleasing and permanent. It is available in a wide range of finishes from mirror bright 
to a rich satin. A large assortment of stock patterns is available. Or, if the architect prefers, he can use his creative ability to design a panel, which can be easily shaped to almost any profile. Pressed and rolled designs are widely used for interesting textural effects to obtain the precise reflection value desired or to eliminate oil canning. In addition, stainless steel makes an elegant skin for columns. It has no equal for bright accents and trim and is particularly suitable for framing windows and panels. Porcelain enameled steel with the added dimension of permanent color is another extremely durable material. It is non-combustible. Porcelain enameled steel can cope successfully with the elements and it is highly resistant to abrasion. Rain provides all the cleaning porcelain enamel needs and many examples have shown no evidence of fading after 30 years exposure to the sun. Like stainless steel, it is available in many stock patterns, or it can be custom formed to any shape or in any size. Wilbur decided that the use of steel curtain walls would give him the freedom of expression he needed to design a building that would be both beautiful and functional. So, fully prepared for the meeting with his client, Wilbur explained. The design for your new building should symbolize the good taste and integrity of the firm while reflecting the strength and permanence of the pyramids. It should provide maximum usable space in keeping with sound economics. And from an aesthetic point of view, capture the dynamic sales and advertising philosophy of the firm. Gentlemen, my design for your consideration. With the client's hearty approval of his preliminary design, Wilbur considered all the available forms and basic properties of steel curtain walls. He knew porcelain enamel could give him virtually unlimited effects. Any color could be achieved in porcelain enameled steel in any finish from matte to glossy. Stamped or embossed designs could be specified in monochrome or contrasting hues. He could choose an overall two-color textured finish, produce mosaic effects, or even embossed designs with a silk screen. Wilbur could even realistically portray the sponsor's product if he were not inhibited by good taste. The color and pattern of the outer panel is a matter of personal choice. However, the type and amount of insulating material used and the design of the inner face are dictated by sound engineering principles. The sandwich, or panel, must fulfill the functions of a wall. All any architect has to do is consider steel curtain wall construction, and the word gets around in a flash. Representatives of reliable fabricators make a beeline for the architect more than eager to explain in detail how much they know about steel curtain wall construction. With the benefit of the experience of over 100 steel curtain wall fabricators, Wilbur is better able to cope with the many details of designing the new building. He knows that proper joining of component parts is vitally important to successful curtain wall construction. From among the basic types in use, Wilbur specifies a combined panel unit with split structural mullion. He also specifies that joints be provided with seals that meet all basic performance requirements to compensate for expansion and contraction due to thermal extremes and pressures on both faces of the wall. Among the many types of test-proven sealants marketed under various trade names, polysulfide mastic fillers butyl-based tapes, and extruded elastomer gaskets can be depended upon to retain their integrity under all weather conditions for long periods of time. Stainless steel was chosen for the vertical mullions because it will never corrode or pit and is easily formed in any shape. It was possible to use a light gauge because the alloys which enable it to retain its luster permanently make it stronger. 
This advantage was fully exploited in designing the stainless steel cross mullions and window frames. And finally, Wilbur specified a fastener adjustable in three planes so the unit could be attached to the building within ordinary building tolerances. With his plans completed, Wilbur is confident he estimated costs accurately, but sees no harm in playing it safe until the bids from the general contractors are in. I cannot believe it. The highest bid, 5% under the estimate. Congratulations, Wilbur. The curtain wall fabricator who was awarded the job also contracted to erect the wall. And Wilbur is pleased to discover that the fabricator isn't taking his responsibility lightly. He warrants the skin against leakage because units of a similar design had passed his static wind test with flying colors. Furthermore, the same type unit had been subjected to the standard wind and water test without any trouble. Nor is he worried about the porcelain enamel spalling. Tests prove that it can withstand an extremely high degree of torsion without damaging the finish. With the fabricator's assurance that each and every unit would be delivered exactly as specified, Wilbur didn't have too much left to worry about. Since the fabricator is also responsible for erection, and with everyone in town keeping an eye on him, it's safe to presume he'll take reasonable precautions to protect the panels from damage. Look out below! Oops. Because steel curtain walls are lighter and thinner, they permit significant savings in structural steel, provide more usable floor space, and are conveniently handled by a minimum crew. The use of steel panels reduces the need for exterior scaffolding because they are attachable from the interior. Efficiently designed fasteners support the weight of the units and provide ample tolerance for fast, precise installation. Speed of erection ensures early occupancy. Steel curtain wall construction enables any architect to maintain his freedom of design with the assurance he can meet the client's requirements at a competitive cost. Once more, please. Hold it. Thank you. And thank you, Mr. Jones. <coughs> Did I ever tell you I once seriously considered becoming an architect myself? <laughs> well, it's been a pleasure working with a young man so amenable to my suggestions. Now, oh, don't say a word, Jonesy. It's enough to know my little sketch helped you capture the international ramifications of the firm. And thanks to me, you didn't forget to be practical. Good show, Jones. This is exactly what I meant. It's a conversation piece. Absolutely. You've given us exactly what we had in mind. I did. <laughs>